poor FedEx lady's been out here three days in a row to deliver live plants. That time of year for me, this should hopefully be, I hope, I had already taken an ax and opened it up. Oh, this actually looks nice. Please be the right one this time. Please be the right one. This is packaged pretty nice too. Got a few starts. Let's set this over here and take a look at all of the other ones. This should be a Dolgo Crabapple. Please say Dolgo Crabapple. Please say Dolgo Crabapple. Oh my gosh, finally. Dolgo Crabapple. I've been waiting to get this thing for a while now. So, there's a Dolgo Crabapple here. A Profusion there. And a Sergeant there. The little teeny one is the Sergeant Crabapple. Sergeant makes a fruit about one third to a half inch in size. Um, I think that it only gets, the whole plant, only gets about eight feet tall. It's great as an apple pollinator. The fruit can be used uh, as pectin, but is really kind of too small, really, for much anything else. Uh, you would really have to collect an awful lot of crab apples, one third to half inch in size, to uh, make much out of it. Um, I believe that the sergeant is a white flower crab apple. Profusion uh, gets to be taller. I believe it's 15 to 20 feet tall. Also small fruit. Actually, you can see one right there. A third to half inch in size. The fruit from this can also be used to make uh, pectin or as a pectin for jellies and jams. Um, this one has a white or pink, a white to light pink bloom. Also good for pollinating other apples. The Dolgo crab apple though, this one gets to be about 30 to 40 feet tall. It has white flowers. The fruit is about two inches in diameter. It's commonly used for pectin. And it's also commonly used to make apple butter and apple cider vinegar. And uh, also to pollinate other apple trees. I have a lot of apple trees on my property. And although I only wanted the doggo, I ended up with three crab apples. Long story how that happened. Don't matter. Um, so that completes... Uh, nope. I still have four more elderberries coming in. And once that's done, I'm hoping I'm done. All except for I might plant some more grapes. And I've kind of been looking at a honeyberry, but I don't know if I'm going to plant that or not. Uh, one thing I would like to actually get at some point in time is a hawthorn tree. Um, hawthorn berries have medicinal uses. And I've been trying for a couple years. I got a friend that uh, has a whole thorn tree, and sometimes she gets sprouts. And I've just been kind of waiting on her to say, hey, I got a sprout. And I'll run over and buy or trade or something like that with her in order to get it. Um, but I'm getting closer to having the orchard done. And speaking of orchard, let's take a quick walk up here. Excuse the mess. Everything's always messy because I've always got 15 billion projects going on at once. My truck has 3,100 pounds in it. <laughs> and it's just a Nissan Frontier. But man, this thing is a workhorse. Everybody's always amazed, including the guy at Lowe's just now. He's like, is that truck going to be able to hold this? It's like, well, so the uh, blocks is 2,800 pounds and then 2,850 pounds. And then I got some other stuff in the back seat. I'm estimating it's probably about 3,100 pounds in it right now. But uh, these blocks... It's going to be a sneak preview for my upcoming project. I've got a rough draft of what it's going to look like there. And uh, so coming up soon on a video is how I made a spiral herb garden. That's going to be way different than any other ones that you've ever seen.
because I'm going to put it in combination with something else. And you'll have to wait and see what that video is. So if you uh, are into that kind of stuff, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and if you want to, share it too. Thanks for watching.